I think online classes were very difficult both for us and the teachers. It was especially challenging to not be able to interact with them as much, which eventually made us lose interest in some lectures. Furthermore, technical difficulties did make the whole thing a lot harder. However, I think most teachers did a great job at reinventing their lessons at such a short notice. And ultimately, we all did what we could to keep things as they were, but sometimes the limitations were too strong to do so. At the beginning of the lockdown, everybody was being very empathetic and understanding with the situation. For example, teachers gave us the opportunity to express our feelings and most of them adapted the classes as to make them more enjoyable. However, it is also true that the experience became more stressful because of the amount of work required. For example, we were spending hours, maybe like 12 hours in front of our laptops, just doing individual or even teamwork. At the beginning of the confinement, honestly, it was not easy at all. It was a strange and unusual situation, but as I was accepting what was happening, I slowly started to adapt to the new situation. And thanks to everything we had studied about democratic culture, I was able to face it differently. I do not think that lockdown had that much of an effect on my right to quality education because the classes were well adapted to the online format and we still had access to tutoring lessons with our teachers, which made the whole thing, both personally and academically, a lot easier. This experience affected entirely in my right to a quality education, because at some point I thought that the university was being abusive with this amount of work. And for example, some of the work required to do or even just to prepare the class when we never did it during the on-site classes. In my view, the quality of education doesn't change too much only because of the face-to-face -face factor. It also depends on your learning style. However, I think that my right to an education of quality wasn't violated at any moment. Even if as students we had sometimes difficulties uh, with the new learning and teaching methodology. I think the competences of a democratic culture are essential in this kind of situations because they help us live together as a society and going through these situations is also part of living together if we, even if we are physically apart. To do that we need to use a lot of empathy, a lot of understanding of others' diverse situations and of course always keep ourselves critical of every information we read, especially in such a sudden pandemic. In my opinion, the competences for democratic culture were being absolutely violated because the university wasn't being empathetic nor flexible and some of the teachers weren't tolerant with this situation where maybe we were sharing our study space with five more members of the family or with our problems with the Wi-Fi. For me, one of the most important competences during the lockdown was respect because you are 24 hours at home with more people and you have to be respectful towards them and try to understand that this situation is not easy for anyone as they may be stressed and have reactions that can create conflicts and those competences can help us to, to deal better with, uh, with these kind of situations. I would like to highlight the three main competences for democratic culture and their indicators that made it possible for me to deal with the situation of confinement differently. And first of all is the flexibility and adaptability, the indicators that says adapting to the new situation by using a new skill and applying knowledge in a different way. After that, the cooperation skills, the indicators that says building positive relationships with other people in a group. And finally, the conflict resolution skills that says identifying options for resolving conflicts. 